To err is human. However, when physicians make mistakes, the consequences can be severe. Medical diagnosis requires physicians to integrate complex information from multiple sources. Under normal conditions, that process requires the use of heuristics, intuitive judgments, or mental shortcuts. When calibrated well, heuristics allow rapid, accurate decisions. However, when calibrated poorly, they produce errors in judgment. Many interventions have tried to reduce reliance on heuristics. However, in doing so, they ignore the potential power of these cognitive processes. We set out to develop an intervention to recalibrate physician heuristics during diagnosis, focusing on the special case of trauma triage. In the U.S., severely injured patients are supposed to be treated at trauma centers. Triage can happen either in the field or after evaluation at a community hospital. Only one half of patients are triaged appropriately, in part because of the influence of heuristics. The problem is interesting because physicians have to triage patients quickly and with limited information. Also, most physicians in the community see severely injured patients infrequently. They see 1,000 patients for every one with severe injuries. These conditions make it difficult to learn best practice decision principles. We developed a video game in collaboration with Shell Games to serve as the intervention. The game uses stories to communicate decision principles. Players take on the persona of Andy Jordan, a young emergency medicine physician who takes a job in a local ED. As players complete the game, they gain experience with the consequences of diagnostic errors and trauma. We recruited 368 physicians, randomized them to play the game or to use traditional educational applications, and then measured triage decisions on a virtual simulation. Six months later, we asked a random sample of 200 of these physicians to use the simulation again. We found that physicians who use the game made 11% fewer diagnostic errors when triaging trauma patients compared with those who use the educational applications, a difference which persisted at six months. Key limitations included a convenient sample of physicians and the use of a virtual simulation to measure outcomes. Although we detected a large effect, the magnitude and real-world efficacy of the intervention are unclear. However, our results suggest that narrative-based video games have the potential to influence physician behavior. 